The Offshore Technology Conference is well noted as a showcase for key, innovative, uh, and even game-changing offshore technology. Um, we are here today on Cinco de Mayo, actually, and it's also Dutch Liberation Day for my friends uh, in Holland, uh, to talk with some of the leading customers here. Hi, I'm Mike Kilalia, and I want to thank you for tuning in to drillingcontractor.org slash OTC, which is graciously sponsored by FMC Technologies. I'm here with uh, Mr. Brad Beitler, who is Vice President of Technologies for FMC Technologies, and we're going to discuss some of the, uh, some of the technologies that FMC is bringing to the fore. Uh, FMC was uh, recognized as an OTC Spotlight Award winner this year, and uh, I'm sure you're very proud of that, Brad. Very much That's so, That's a Mike. great achievement, but Thanks. I don't think it's the first time for you all either. No, it's not the first time. We've, we've, uh, we've won this a couple more times. That's it's, great. Uh, but it, we just have to be diligent about developing technologies, and we're very pleased when we can get some recognition like this. Well, Brad, FMC uh, has multiple strategies for bringing technology into the field. Can you kind of uh, give us a rundown on some of those? Sure, yeah. You know, FMC's been doing this since the late 80s, and we, uh, we, we've gone with the operators as they've developed uh, fields over the years. And, it's, and in the early days, it was pretty easy to go in and develop fields. We get high-rate wells and fairly conventional technology, but as we... As we get into the more difficult circumstances, which these days the oil companies are much deeper water, much different kinds of formations, much more difficult environments, we've had to, had to look at technologies that will help the operator actually produce some of these things. And then uh, and on another track, uh, some of the existing fields that, that they developed when things were easy now are depleting. And so there's more, there's more oil and gas left in the reservoirs. And so they also need to find ways of getting that oil out and maximize the recovery. So, we, so we're looking at technologies that cover both those bases. And, uh, and so our strategy basically is to, first of all, be a, be a subsea technology integrator, which, you know, there's, when you get into depths of 9,000 feet of water like we are in the Shell Perdido, um, you need to have special technologies that enable just getting down to that depth. And then beyond that, uh, the technologies that we have to put in place to, to lift the oil and gas out of the ground to be able to recover it uh, on a secondary basis. Those are those are things that, uh, besides integrating the system, we we like to be able to control those enabling technologies to do that. Excellent. So, uh, what uh, can you talk a little bit about the OTC Spotlight Award winner? Sure. How'd you break? How'd you change the game this year? Yeah, well, this one was uh, this was a great one. This is a. M MPM, which is a multi-phase meter company, is a is a recent acquisition for FMC. We we saw the need out in the future of uh, having multi-phase oil, gas, and water metering of the flow streams uh, for subsea use uh, for a couple reasons. One is you can tell the health of the field as it's producing, as the field changes characteristics, you can see what those are and make your plans on how to do workovers or do remediation on the field on real time. The second thing is you're seeing more and more multiple operators put production into single pipelines and share those kind of infrastructure resources. And so, so we saw a method of, of, of having a cash register on the, on the seabed, metering the flow from each operator into the pipeline as being a very important part of our, of our future. So, so um, MPM Multibase Meters is a, again, a, a wonderful little company based in Norway. They've, uh, they've got some incredible technologies having to do with, uh, with the broadband sensing within the, within the pipe of, of all the different elements of the flow stream on a real-time basis. And, uh, and uh, we were very impressed with, the, with the, the people there, were very impressed with the technology, and uh, we think they're going to be a great, a great addition to what we do. And we're very proud uh, that they won the, right off the bat, won the Spotlight Award, and so we're, uh, we're very happy about that. It's just outstanding, Brad. Again, Thank congratulations. You. But just on the eve of uh, OTC this year, you know, uh, Shell was very proud to announce the uh, groundbreaking Perdido field. Absolutely. Over 9,000 feet water, the deepest um, producing field on Earth. You and Shell developed a lot of technology specifically to make yeah. that happen. Can you talk about that? Sure, please? absolutely. Yeah, we've, we've had a long relationship with Shell over since 1995, and we've worked with them as a partner, really, in developing a lot of the technologies that ultimately are, are used in Perdido. Um, we have an unusual relationship with Shell in that and it's, sometimes it's tough to tell the shell engineers from the FMC engineers. They all work on the same teams, and they all they all pitch into the development work. 
Uh, this was a unique field in that it had some uh, some issues in terms of being able to make the wells more productive, and that that needed a separation solution on the seabed. And in 9,000 feet of water, you can imagine that that threw in a few uh, few curves to the engineers. And so so we incorporated some of our inline technology with with their concepts for this caisson type separator, which is basically a uh, they also call it a decanter where you. You have a large piece of pipe in the ground that acts as a vertical separator of the oil and the gas and, and the water. And, uh, and so using this technology along with, uh, with our trees and along with some of the riser technology we've developed and went up to their spar, we were able to come up with a, an integrated system that actually efficiently separated out all the, all the unwanted fluids and was able to, uh, to go into this very, very difficult and challenging field and produce it effectively. Outstanding, and uh, I'm confident that that field's going to produce efficiently and safely for many years to come. We hope so too. And give our nation uh, and the world uh, the energy that it really needs to uh, get through the times that are ahead of us. Also, uh, I understand you have a new system, a three phase water, gas, separate oil separation system that will be deployed. Oh, about a year from October, October 2011, in the Marlin field in Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. Can you yeah. give us a little overview of that? Sure, absolutely. You know, Marlin, Marlin is probably one of the biggest fields that Petrobras has in, the, in Brazil. It's in the compost basin. It's a, an incredibly prolific field. But as the as the field aged, uh, it developed more and more of a water cut, as these fields tend to do. Until to right now, it's probably 70% uh, water production. Mm -hmm. Uh, Petrobras obviously saw some problems. They they were they have a lot of floating uh, assets, uh, rig, uh, FPSOs, and various kinds of floating vessels that are spending a lot of time now uh, raising water up to the to the surface and separating the water out, and so that destroys the efficiency of, a, of an oil and gas installation. So we we came up with a solution in conjunction with Petrobras to be able to use our inline separation technology, similar to what was on Perdido has a lot of differences because there's different qualities in the reservoir, but uh, we use that inline separation technology and some pumping technology to be able to separate the water out subsea, send the rest of the hydrocarbons up to the surface, and actually pump the, the separated water back into the oil formation to use that as an injection medium to actually increase the productivity of the, the hydrocarbons in the reservoir. So it, I think it's really going to be a big boost for the Petrobras in, in trying to get this reservoir back onto some, some very viable production levels. No doubt. Sounds like an outstanding achievement that we'll keep so, following, Brad. Yeah, we're looking, we're looking forward to when, when that thing goes underwater. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for your time, sir. My pleasure, Enjoyed Mike. talking with you very much. FMC Technologies is a perfect example of very creative people bringing innovative solutions into the real world that are going to, that's going to help our industry provide safely, safe and efficient fuel to help our citizens have a, have a better future in our economy to keep growing. So thanks to all of you for tuning into this webcast on drillingcontractor.org slash OTC, sponsored graciously by FMC Technologies. And thanks again, Brad Beitler, for spending some time with us. Everybody out there, uh, please drill safe and keep turning to the right. I'm Mike Kilalea. See you next time. Bye.